Holy shit! <laughs> You were expecting, he's a three footer. He fought better than the other one yesterday. That is a big pike. That is about, he's a meter long. Wanna get him in the boat? So uh, yesterday afternoon, you're in the Yukon exactly 24 hours, and you came out here to this little bay just around from the campsite. It's about 500 meters from the campsite? Yeah, not too far. Yeah, and you were fishing here. Uh, about We're about 10 meters from shore. And what happened? Yeah, I saw a nice big pike right there. Very excited. I was like, oh, first pike. So it was too windy for me to be able to go out in the middle of the lake and control my kayak with the rod. So I kept blowing ashore. I was probably about there. Roll casting to the pike. I hear, hear a bunch of crackling coming down the hill. I turn around and there's a bear right at the shore. By the time I realized it was a bear, I'm already making direct eye contact and it's snorting at me and pawing. So I quickly put my rod down and, you know, just get a little bit in the water. He just splashes around the water here and then bolts it that way. Just he, did he go in the water here? Did yeah, he, he did. splash in the water he here at you? He splashed in the water right there because that's why I was freaked out. I'm like, is he going to swim out to so me? So he's like, about he 10 meters from you. Yeah. Like, and you paddled away one handed with your kayak paddle? Yeah, I just, yeah, yeah. I was on, I was still using my uh, canoe paddle for sure. it. So just quickly a foam to get me out. And then by that time, he was wandering around the shore there and then kind of disappeared in the bush. And you can hear him. He's like on a bear rampage, just running. There's a black bear too, right? Yeah. yeah. He was brown, but because I didn't, oh. but first when I saw him, it freaked me out because he was the color of a grizzly. And I was so in shock and him snorting at me and rrr, that I was, you know, by the time I got to see him, oh, it's just a black bear. And then he rampaged over there in the back which there's there's a little swampy swamp. yeah. uh, uh a little creek comes in over there and, and then he bolts up that hill he's running he runs up the hill there and runs there and by that time he was off and so you're just right here i was I was just right and here. he comes barreling down that. out of the nowhere just comes barreling down the hill splashes in water <laughs> snorts at you and then, and then runs away, runs away. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, that's just to say I didn't get my pike. But. <laughs> that's that's a, you've had a Yukon story, yeah. a whole twenty four hours in country. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll maybe catch some pike tonight. Hopefully, no more bears. No. Far away bears. Yeah, far away bears are okay. Not right there. <laughs> okay. All right. Coming up to Angry Bear Bay. It's like ten thirty at night. What time is it, Linda? It's midnight. I saw this pike swimming in the shallows, and then he was this, I thought it was a log, and uh, so I cast in front of him, and uh, he just followed the fly, but he wouldn't take it, so I started jerking it, and then he kept on following it, and finally, uh, 
was. <laughs> yeah. Just before I pulled it out of the water, he, I guess he thought, oh, I gotta get this before it gets away. <laughs> so. really disinterested in it. And I actually thought he was a log. At first, uh, stick, I wasn't sure if it was a pike. Get my net. Oh, he's, uh, he's lunch size. Big oh, he's away. Oh. Oh. Spoke too soon. Hey. So this is my fly. I had to really entice him with it. It's uh, something I tied up myself. A little bit of silver on the bottom. Oh, oh he's a big one. I don't know, I can never tell if he's fucking big. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he's a beast? <laughs> I think I gotta look at him underwater. directly north into the sunset. It's just about 10 o'clock. Oh, he's in the net! He's too big! <laughs> too big for the net? Are you sure? No, he's, I can get him in. He bends. He one way. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, it would be nice if it's your four footer. I'll let the anchor out in a bit once we're in the shallows and then you can just let him. He's about nine o'clock at night now, right? Holy shit! <laughs> oh, 
Oh no. <laughs> you were expecting. He's a three footer. That is a big bike. That is a boat. He's a meter long. Um, I would like to get the boat. Sure, he's not bigger than yesterday's one. You are good at catching big pike. Dinda, slayer of pike. Except we have to slay and we let him go. Oh, look at the size of that beastie. Holy doodle! Oh, that's a that's, a, that's a that's a big. Plank. That's probably thirty six inches. That's as big. Whoa! There goes the GoPro. You gotta put him in the water. <laughs> oh, he's fine. That one run you off. <laughs> And I start with a, um, a size two hook, a long shanked hook. To, and then I extend that with some craft wire um, about three inches or, f or so. And uh, put an a eye at the end. I don't like using steel leaders. So um, this is how I extend the shank of the hook. And of course, you, I press the barb down too. I tied a tail on using um, uh, just uh, basically red and yellow feathers, added a bit of sparkle. Uh, the colors are red and yellow. Um, 25 years ago when I didn't know anything about fishing for pike, I um, was at Five Finger Rapids and there was a First Nation guy selling ice cream out of, out of a van. And I asked him, what do pike like? And he said, anything red and yellow. So um, I came up with this idea for a fly. There's the tail, red, yellow, and just a bit of flash. And there you have it. Um, uh, it's wrapped with uh, rooster saddle, um, just alternating um, red and yellow, just on a bumblebee pattern. And then finish off with a bit of uh, flash over top. Um, I just wrapped the um, the long shank, the craft wire, in a bit of green to match the background color. But that doesn't matter. We've done the other ones in red. So, looks like something you'd find in a pride parade. It's slightly flamboyant and pretty. Uh, so, we'll give it a pride name. Maybe Dixie. Dixie Normus. The pike fly. So, um, it's either Michelangelo or, or Michael Jackson, right? <laughs> Michelangelo or Michael Jackson. I got Michelangelo. Michael Jackson. <laughs> what? It's a jackfish. A pike is a jackfish, so it's Pikel Jackson, okay. That's...